Hey everyone. All right, today is Saturday, September 28th. So I went to bin store number one, which, and it was $6 a day today. So let me go ahead and show you what I was able to get. So this first one is a little <coughs> big, excuse me. Um, I got this blanket because I'm going to give it to one of my nieces uh, because she is a big Swifty fan. So it's this right here. It's it's folded, but this is what it looks like. It's purple and it's just one of those velour type blankets. And I'm going to give this for her birthday um, in December. So yeah, I, the reason why it's out of the packaging is because I had them open it so that I could see it. And um, it's okay because I can just box this up. I might go back tomorrow because they did have another one. I've just got to go and look for it again so I can give that to a different niece um, because they are both big Swifty fans and they uh, both had said that they wanted Swifty blankets. So yeah, I'll get the other one one too. So they don't feel left out. So the second items that I got, there are two of them, are these um, ordinary uh, oh, okay. So one is the hyaluronic acid, um, which is really good for your skin. I highly recommend it. It's really helped in terms of like with my, um, oiliness and this one is a caffeine solution. So this one says it's supposed to reduce the appearance of eye contour pigmentation or puffiness. Funny because when I saw this, I didn't even look, I just assumed it was another hyaluronic acid, but that's okay. Cause maybe I'll have my mom try it. Um, She's not here. She's actually now in Australia. Um, I just spoke to her um, about 20 minutes ago. Okay, so this one has not been used. So yeah, maybe I'll have her try it. I don't really have a problem with like dark circles or puffiness. And plus I have those eye patches, you know, the gel eye patches to use. Um, so yeah, I'll just give that to her. And then we've got the hyaluronic acid one. Let's see. I've always been curious about this. I've been curious about the ordinary brand anyways. So yeah, I'll try it, especially in the winter, just to see how it, you know, how it turns out. Um, let's see. So I found this. It was kind of funny. Actually, let me pull the other one first that I found. I saw this and it's the Fememo um, labels. I always keep running into this and a lot of people at these bin stores don't know what they are. So I always pick them up when I see them and it was a pack of six because I can always use them. And then there are these square labels. Yeah, they're the square labels. So, I mean, it's not bad because I think these go for more than 20 on Amazon, you know? So when I found that, then I found this so it was like kind of laid to the side like that and i saw the memo and it's usually i i guess this is their new packaging because it's usually packaged like this the printers so um i didn't know it was a printer inside i was just like what it's kind of nice the um the box so it was partially opened and turns out there was a little tiny printer in there and so I've tested it out. It works. And what the heck, man, this is the cheap, the, the really cheap one, the T, I think it's the TO2. And it's actually printing a better quality because I tested it out than the other Fememo printers that I have. I don't know what it is because the print head, it kind of like prints half the way and then it's kind of briefly like a half a second pauses and then prints. So I always have this line across and I don't know why it does that, but these printed out so cleanly. Look at that. And the quality is really good. And this is supposed to be the lower resolution one. So I don't know what's weird. I'm going to probably end up using this more than my, the ones, the one that I had ordered from Amazon. And then the other ones that I'd found at the bin stores. Um, yeah. Cause it's, it prints really, really nice. It's just strange. So put those to the side. I found this to give to one of my nephews. I have two nephews and they're both obsessed with Pokemon. So, um, and they love Crocs, <laughs> but unfortunately the weather's starting to get cooler. So, you know, um, I probably will just, maybe I'll wait till Christmas or I might just wait until the spring and then give it because I don't want them to lose, you know, lose these. And I know they're going to enjoy putting those on their Crocs. So I have another set um, that I haven't given them yet either. 
So this is funny because I found this last week, but it was out of the box. And so this is, um, it's just like a, a, what do you call this? Um, it's I'm okay. So I'm going to use this actually as a letter opener because I need one at work because I, I get a lot of like, um, I have to deal with like disability paperwork and stuff for patients. So, um, yeah, I get it a lot of mail and I can't find my, you know, just regular, what do you call this? Um, letter opener. So I plan on just using this instead. And I guess it's based off of this character and I have, um, I have no idea who she is. I don't know if it's based off of a game or an actual anime, but like I said, I saw this like laying out, um, somebody had taken it out of the box. I don't think I'm gonna put this on cause that's kind of annoying, but yeah, I just thought it was kind of funny. Um, but it's metal, you know, and it just fits in there. kind of locks right in. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, if somebody tries to steal it, I mean, hello, it's mine. Like nobody else at work is going to have something like this, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and bring that to work. Let me just stick this back on. I'm going to put that, sorry. Oh, sorry, my microphone is actually in a different place now. I have it like a headset. So if I have to brush, you know, rub my nose, I'm actually accidentally touching it. Okay. And then, is there anything else in here? Let me see. Oh, it's my glove. So when I rummage through all these bins, I always make sure to wear like these type of gloves because you never know when there's like stuff that's out of the packaging that's got a sharp edge or like liquids have been like spilled and then stuff is sticky. So I always wear gloves, you know, and it helps grip stuff, especially when I'm moving big boxes. So the last thing that I got was this, this rise coffee. Now I have been seeing this on freaking, uh, Instagram and Facebook. It keeps popping up and I've been really, really curious, but I did not want to spend the amount of money that they're charging for it. I think it's something like maybe $20. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to be patient and wait for the bin stores to get it. And sure enough, they got one. Um, six bucks. Hey, not bad. So it's supposed to be kind of like coffee, but it's all made out of mushrooms and I love mushrooms. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to try this because it's actually good for up to 30 servings. So let's just, you know, let's just see how it tastes. Um, hopefully it's going to taste really good. So I do definitely have to add creamer or milk. Um, but I'll try it first dark and then, or black and then see about adding, you know, some cream. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much all the stuff that I had gotten, um, from the bin store this week, um, from the $6 day today and then the $4 Sunday, uh, last week. So I'm going to combine, like I said, these two, and, um, I'm definitely going to go back again tomorrow to bin store number two, cause it'll be $4 day. See what they have. And yeah, that's my haul for the week. Hope everyone's having a great week and a great day. Bye. Hey everyone. Today is Saturday. What is it? Uh, October 5th. So I did go to the bin store this morning. Um, I was kind of actually in a rush because uh, my one of my nieces had her birthday party today and I had to be there at 12. Um, or rather I had to follow my sister, um, to the, uh, event, uh, because it was all the way out in Collierville, um, which is like a suburb of Memphis and it's quite far from where we live. Um, probably about a good, I guess you could say, depending on traffic, you know, 25, 25 minutes, I guess. And that's on the, um, interstate. So yeah, so I got I actually took my nephew with me, uh, to the bin store because he was going with me to the party and, um, it would just be easier for me to just bring him with me. And it, was, it turned out fine. He was actually having fun going through the bins because we walked in and I said, all right, 
I need you to look for Pokemon stuff for me <laughs> because his cousin um, loves Pokemon as well. So he had a blast going through all the bins trying to find Pokemon stuff and didn't find Pokemon stuff. He did find Nintendo Switch stuff, which was actually kind of funny. Um, and I only made him pick like one out of the three things that he found. Um, we ended up getting him a, um, or rather I ended up getting him a controller, um, a wireless controller. So let me reposition this because I just moved the desk okay there we go um yeah it was between that a new case or what was the third thing oh a, a pokemon like card album or something like that so yeah so he got the controller so anyways um i'm gonna go ahead and show you the things that i got so let's get this out of the way first thing we have here is um a sound bar for the computer. Now, um, I think I've mentioned it before. I have now a new 27 inch uh, computer monitor, like a gaming monitor that my brother gave me for my birthday. I don't game, <laughs> but I wanted something that was high quality, especially for watching, you know, like movies and videos and stuff. So um, I have a laptop and now that I'm watching everything on this big monitor, um, you know, it's just, I'm further away from the laptop and the sound isn't great as far as the speakers. I mean, if you're sitting in front of the laptop watching, it's fine, but I wanted a speaker and I'd been using this little JBL that I had found, um, at bin store number three, a long time ago for four bucks. It was brand new and it works great, but the battery life, um, it's okay, but I hate having to like, you know, especially when I'm getting ready to sit and watch a movie and then I notice, oh crap, you know, the battery's running low, I have to stop and recharge it. So I was able to find this. I did see something similar to this last week and, but I did not get it because I just wasn't sure if it was, um, going to work. Fortunately, when I found this one, um, it works actually, it's not even in the box because I've already put it. Um, I've already put it all over there by my monitor. Um, it's a black one. I was kind of hoping for the white one. <laughs> which would be like this one right here, but that's okay because either way it works fine. It's a USB. I just plugged it into, you know, to my laptop and it works. It's great. You know, um, sound quality is excellent. So I'm glad I got that for six bucks. Yes. Today is six buck day. So I, I found yet another crossbody bag. I know I need to stop. This one I think is a men's, um, brand Mark Royden. And the only reason why I like this is because the fact that I looked it up, it's waterproof and it's really sleek. Um, I like how the zipper is, oh gosh, now what's going on here? I just opened it. Okay. There we go. How it's padded, right? Um, it's padded there. This right here. I like that there are two zippers and it opens completely. Look at that. And it's got a lot of pockets. So you have that one there. You have this one here, zipper pocket. You've got your card sleeves. You have this detachable, um, you know, for like keys. I think you just press, yeah, right there. Um, there's another little pocket right there, I guess, to keep the keys. You know, I like that when it opens, it opens wide for one. And then, of course, the important part is the back pocket for me to slip my phone in and my phone does fit. The problem is, is that even though I don't really carry a lot of stuff, I do carry a pair of sunglasses, my key sunglasses and a pair of readers, right? Which are, I have a backup here that I keep in case I need them like these. Okay. So I can fit everything in this bag except for my sunglasses and my readers. Now I probably should just tear down my wallet even more to like one of those little wallet sleeves, right? For just the cards. If I did that, I probably could fit my readers in here. I just don't like wearing my sunglasses on my head, <laughs> on my head because one, I have a, I have a pretty wide head and that's going to kind of like, uh, ruin my sunglasses. So I don't know. I'm, um, on the fence as to, if I'm going to, you know, go that route and then use this because it is much more lightweight. I also like the fact that the clasp right here is in the back and not at the front, like the travel on that I, um, I got last week. 
Um, the, it's good that this right here, so like when you have it on your chest, it actually would hang like that rather than it's just like stuck like that. Um, this is also padded right there, but um, it's also a good bag for travel. I haven't even tried to take, you know, open this yet, so I don't know. I don't know how that works, but yeah, I looked it up on the website itself and it was like $44. So I don't know how much it goes for on Amazon. So, you know, I'll, uh, I'll put a link in, in the description. I mean, I don't care that it's a men's bag. It's very sleek, you know, um, I I'll try to use it just like I'll try to use the, uh, the travel on. I just need to stop buying these bags <laughs> when I see them. I get excited when I saw that because I felt the fabric. I was like, oh, it's waterproof. That's exactly what I need now that winter's coming up and, you know, you're outside with your uh, raincoat, but your bag's getting wet. So, yeah, so I found that. And then I found this. I'm going to, I guess I'll give this to one of my nieces. It's, um, it's just like the Laneige sleep, lip sleeping mask, but there's all these different colors. There's five, I mean, colors, flavors. So there's five different ones and it's Korean. So yeah, I'll, I'll probably give it to, um, one of my nieces and then she can share with her sister. Maybe I'll give that for her birthday instead. Cause it's coming up in December. I don't normally buy washi anymore, but. I saw this and I just thought it was really, really cute. I like the one with the scooter. Here, I'll get up closer so you can see it. That one right there. This one with the bunny and the socks. Um, the paw prints. Yeah, it's really cute. Um, I mean, it's not bad. Six bucks and there's like 10 different washi, you know. So, yeah. I mean, I had a lot of stuff in my bag, but towards the end, I realized that I was running out of time, so I had to do a mad sort so that we could get out of there and get, you know, meet up with my sister on time. So I did find this. The only reason why I got this is because of sharpening your scissors right there. But it didn't come with the instructions on the inside, so I'm a little unsure as to how you're supposed to really sharpen the scissors. Um, but I like that it's portable, so like during Thanksgiving and Christmas... I can bring this when I go to my, either of my siblings' houses. Well, I have three siblings. Any of their houses, you know, when we have Thanksgiving dinner. And that way we have a handy um, knife sharpener um, for cutting, like, the turkey, the beef, the whatever, you know, that we cook. So, yeah, $6 right there. Or I can just, like, give it to one of them if they need one. I mean, we have an electric sharpener, but, you know, that's kind of bulky. To have to bring let me pull this out there we go so i didn't really pick up much I, I felt like there wasn't really a lot to choose from this week it was kind of weird um plus i don't know maybe it's because i was in the mindset of trying to get through as fast as i could to each bin so um okay and then i think this is the last one yeah so i found another <laughs> round lab sunscreen i know this is like the third one um, this one does expire next year, um, but not, but like 1125 of 25. So I'm, I mean, I'm really trying to use up all of the sun cream that I currently have right now, because I already have three now of this, plus the one that I'm actively using, which I'm really trying to use a lot of. And this one works pretty well with my skin. So, I mean, if I don't get to use this, you know, I'll... I'll give one to one of my siblings to use. So oh, I want to go ahead and show. I did find this. I went after the party. I did stop at Marshall's and I was able to find some Innisfree um, on, on clearance. This is the pore cleansing facial foam. I have a ginormous bottle of this um, or tube of this that I got at bin store number three, the one that closed. I had got it last year. For four dollars i mean it was like double the size of this and i'm almost out of it now and i pretty i like this you know because i don't stick to just one cleansing um foam or facial foam um i rotate probably between probably like seven different ones um because i found that when i do use a particular product on my face for too long obviously my face gets used to it and then it just doesn't work anymore so i i rotate um same thing goes for like the sunscreens um, 
even the toner. Uh, there's only one thing I haven't changed, which is the gel moisturizer, because that one has just worked really, really well. And it's so lightweight. So, um, so yeah, uh, right now, the system that I'm doing, which is the double cleansing, oh my God, that's amazing. I wish I'd known about that when I was younger, because it really works well with, um, you know, handling the oil control um, on my skin. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to go ahead and stock up because like I said, four bucks. So yeah, so I'm going to take that away because I don't want it to be a part of this, this haul here in terms of a, uh, just to show what I got from the bin store. So yeah, these are all the items that I bought today. Like I said, it wasn't a lot. So we'll see what I find tomorrow on $4 day. So hope everybody's having a great weekend and um, have a great day. All right. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.